Hey guys, it's Dtonzun here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Okami. Last time we started off in Hana Valley, just down here, uh, and purified the we stole the Guardian Sapling that was within it. From there, we were able to return Hana Valley to its natural beauty, get this river flowing down here, and actually, having gained the power of Bloom. We're able to restore this garden sapling and return Shinju Field back to its natural beauty. This time we're going to have go around and have a, have a look around Shinju Field to see what's here for us and... Well, let's get started by actually speaking to the person who originally sent us in. Or, well, to some extent we saw before we went in. Uh, the Nameless Man. It's been ages since I've seen the river looking so healthy. That magical crystal ball must be working its mojo. So he hasn't really got much to say to us, he's just mentioning how the river has purified. Uh, here... Oh, well, Ethan's gonna tell us. Whoa! What's up with that old gate? I don't like the looks of it. It's just tearing uh, with evil power. I can feel it. Still... You be the cardinal, we can't just ignore it. What do you think, my furry friend? We're gonna go through it, or what? So yeah, these are what you call demon gates. Uh, and essentially, if you're going to want to restore the area fully, you need to take out all of these. There's a good number of them around each area. Oh, well, not each area, but specific areas will have these a lot. Uh, I know should you feel as a couple in mind. Oh no, I picked it up. That's why I can't find it. And you're not just going to completely face off the enemies that are just in here. Uh, you will have some enemies that do spawn after others die. Uh, take that in out. Uh, and we got another green imp that spawns in. That one out. I've still only got one thing of ink. Oh, damn. There's an ink pot there. I think what here we can use for these stores. I take that one out and we need to power slash your guitar away. Pick up a demon fan pot to get it. And just finish you off. One more power slash and that is it. Ah, thank god the game isn't being picky today. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, once the demon gate's done, these areas come back, and you can, you get free for it. So that's it. Those gate, those things are gateway to monster layers. I've heard of such gates before. They're called d devil gates, sorry, not demon gates. I don't know why I thought they were called that. Those monsters got a lot of nerve building things like that there. Let's tell them down whenever we find them. So, what's this got to say? Nameless Man's Kiln. It's a big old kiln for fire and pottery. I guess somebody works here. I bet they can make some sweet pottery in a kiln like this. Again, we'll need to mention to what's his name, but we've done it. And we're going to view these rabbits here. And again, skip it because that goes on for about two minutes, I think. I've never watched that before. So, now we've got 129 phase. We've got all these areas we can upgrade. And I think it's going to be ink that I need to do because I've seen myself run out of that too much. <laughs> so, what's. Uh, Nameless Man here got to say now that we've got all that. Uh, nothing different. So, let's move on a bit. Let's continue down the path. In fact, no, quickly, I want to speak to the merchant and get some more feedbacks. And I need to stop trying to double jump because that is an ability we don't have yet. Spoilers. Uh, but it does become a thing later on. Now, let's see. What am I doing here again? Oh, yes. I took a shot at the Guardian Sapling. When I heard a terrifying noise before one. Before like a monster growling. 
Well, this is perfect. It's pink. Why don't I set up shop here? You know you come. You know you, where to come if you were sent to shop and right bitch. Oh yes, I do. Don't know if you'll understand this, but here goes. I'd like to ask for some favour. It's a. It'll be a kinch up with your nose. No idea. Have you sniff out any nice bowls or dishes lying around? Don't just leave them to rot away. Bring them to me, will you? Will you? If you turn up, up any treasure that can be worth a bit, I'll pay you. Treasures? Hmm. You found anything like that, Amy? If you did, you should sell it. I mean, what are you gonna do with stuff like pots and dishes? It's hard to sell stuff you've worked so hard to get, but don't worry. All the treasure you collect will be catalogued in the fan menu. What are you mumbling about? Have you got some things for me? I don't actually know. No, I don't. I know one thing, I need some feedbacks. Again, like I said at the start, typically we'll get a few feedbacks and I don't have enough to get five of each, which is typically what I would say, but we'll get five of the main ones anyways. Uh, and... Ugh. Or, uh... Let's continue back on the path we were going to, since it was just down there. There are schools all over the place, but they won't attack you during the day. When it goes night, they will attack you, but... What's this person? Ida! Ow, ow, ow! What's going on? Ida of the Dangan Express never trips up. I fall and I can't get up. Must, must be a curse. So the express messenger, either. I don't have the time for me, but people are waiting for mail. Those monsters must have sent some kind of trap for me. That's a joke. Darn it, I knew I should have bought Traveler's Charm. Hey, Pooch. That's a Traveler's Charm you have. you've got there, isn't it? So yeah, if you automatically ha have... If you have a travel charm, it'll just automatically be given to him. Uh, I don't know. It is possible not to have one, but I don't know what the outcome will be since, well, I've never been in that stage. Oh, yes! I feel so light, my body feels as light as a feather. Thanks, Pooch, you saved me. Can't hang about. Gotta catch up on my deliveries. So you get 10 phase of that. And wow, he's quick. <laughs> and into a wall. So yeah, let's keep going. Uh, these statues right here, we won't be able to do that in just for a good while. This, these cracked in the hole, not too long in relation. So let's get moving. See what else is there. More rabbits. May as well feed them. Hey, quick moving. So yeah, as I was mentioning, uh, Japan is uh, Bill, not Japan. Uh, Okami is based on Japanese mythology, uh, a Japanese slash Shinto mythology. Uh, Amaterasu uh, is basically a inspiration of Japanese mythology. Uh, she is inspired by Amaterasu Okami. Okami. Oh, Nilla. Um, Omikami. Uh, basically, a deity of Japanese mythology. And, well, it's gonna have to wait till after this fight because I stumbled into the wrong area. <laughs> So these are basically flying fish by the looks of it. And we have some imps as well, but I want to take care of this thing immediately because they're the most annoying things ever. You can wilt their... when you wield their health down, once they fall to the ground, they will literally just attach onto you and try and explode. So you literally need to kill them as quick as possible. I never remember what their floor finisher is. 
unlike Imps, where I know that it is Power Slash. Seven one, I think. I don't know, I'll need, need to try and remember when we get to it. But that's that fight sorted. And I just miss a bit. But, anyways, going back to Amato Asu. Uh, she's basically a one of the big uh, deities in Shinto mythology. Uh, essentially, said to be the creator of all things. Uh, she, she's basically the goddess of the universe and the sun, uh, and the name Amaterasu essentially derives from the word Amatera, Amateru, which is a translation of shining in heaven. So it basically, so her name means uh, the great Orgus Kami, which is a word of a deity who shines in the heavens. Uh, and one thing that's interesting is that it's said that all like royals in Japan are said to be descendants of Amaterasu. So that's an interesting history lesson for you. Uh, and here we've just attained a scroll basically on the Legend of Orgy. Uh, a scroll drawn by wandering artists contains useful information. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Not that one. The Hamlet of Kimiki, the Hamlet of Kimiki lies nestled in Shinshu Field of Nippon. This village bears a burden of a sad and troublesome tradition. Each year, on the night of the festival, the evil serpent Orochi appears, and a white plumed arrow strikes the roof of a young maiden. Orochi consumes the girl's soul. Ensuring his continue, continued vit, vitality. No idea. This continued for a hundred years until Nagi slayed the fierce serpent. Even today, the villagers of town were so were full past. Full moon on the fifteenth night ushers in the eight headed serpent. The sacrifice is chosen by way of an arrow de decorated in white. Nagi engage a beast at, in battle for the sake of his beloved Nami. Until his heroic act put the end, tradition to the end, 99 girls have been slain. This fact we must never forget. Interesting backstory there. Uh, learning a bit more about uh, Kabiki's past. And what's this? Sleeping like a log, come back at night. We have a message. Guess we just have to come back tonight. Which, interestingly, is not that long away, so. Again, that crack of wall we can't deal with you yet. Uh, let's bloom this tree. And get one praise of it. Uh, typically, the thing with praises, the harder it is to get to, the more you will get for it. So, late game. Trees and whatnot are more likely to give praise. Uh, never scroll there. And we've got a little bit of a cursed area here. There's another treasure thing. So, what's this got? Another scroll. Feeding! Don't need to know that. Uh, so, what are you again? Your herb. Your seeds. Sorry, seeds. So we have that. I believe the next upgrade is available. The next. Cheapest upgrade is at 80. Uh, and we've got curse area here. Yeah, what's this? Uh, to Agatha Forest. This waterway leads to Agatha Forest. It's the most green and fertile place in this region. I heard the villagers used to take very to the forest a long time ago. Yeah. I think it'll be a while before we have that. And let's scribble this in. Didn't work because I split off. But yeah, that's one thing you need to be aware of, is that if you take your brush off and then try and scribble again, it's very unlikely anything's going to work. Um... <sighs> well, we're going to have to come back later once we got this figured out. Okay, now it's gone night. Let's head back to that place and see what it's all about. 
And yeah, just be aware schools will actively come for you now if you get too close. Like that. <laughs> So let's head back down here, his door's now open, and interestingly, that's fine, you go away, please. So, let's see what he's up, what this person's up to. No, 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 that can't be right, you should be doing that. No, 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 I checked and double checked my formula. No, no, no! Hey, you... There, go a minute. Hmm? Whoa! This is a little wisp. What's a little wisp doing here? Hey, who you call a wisp? I'm Isu, the wandering artist. Hey, I guess it's better than the bug. Well, well, well. You're a little ball, ball of fire, aren't you? I'm Tama. Tama, I'm from Flaming Pyrotechnist. That's what they call me. And we're being told that again. Listen up, you two. I'm just about to set off a hammer ding a doozy. I'm about to set off a hum ding of a doozy. Take a look at that formula I boosted on the wall there. My whole career as a pirate is select that formula, friends. For it is a little firework I have dubbed it. Name Midnight Wonder Boy. There's only one problem. Even though I know the formula is sound, it's not working right yet. I know. Listen, Pop. You've got good eyes. Fiery eyes, smoldering eyes. Maybe a red hot gaze is what I need to set this off. Feast your eyes on the greatest display the world has ever seen! Hold on to your hats, kids. Here I go! The brightness, cons const the brightest constellation of the in the sky for midnight one to buy. So. He's gonna do this. Hold oh, well, well, I guess I might not know. And basically, when he does that, we have to draw that symbol that's on the wall. And there it goes! Holy smokes! That Tama may have a few screws loose, but boy, he can't eat the liver. Huh? That light again. Oh, it's not a consolation, Ami. You know what this means? <laughs> I like the way he's been chased by four, four small copies of himself trying to basically blow him up. <laughs> ah, the Matter Master. Origin of all that's good and mother to us all. Too often it is easy to forget which we cannot see. Hidden away, I hid lost. I had lost track of you. But now my soul is at ease. I, Bakugami, god of explosive force, lend my power to your cause. Use the cherry bomb to lay waste to foes and obstacles alike. And he's gonna be trying to kill me. <laughs> okay, that's funny. It's just the way it rolls into you. Hey! Didn't have a brush technique come back to you? I was Bakugami, the god of explosions. His technique is called Cherry Bomb. That was enthusiast and must awaken the god's power in you. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's give that Cherry Bomb a try. What about that crack wall over there? Why don't you try Cherry Bomb on it? But be careful. 
So yeah, these are what these cracks are basically there for. They will basically hide items and whatnot for you to try and blow up. Whoa! Look at that hole! Blast if I crack hole wall into smithereens! That cherry bomb was one destructive technique. I mean, just think what I could do to monsters. Ugh. I'm gonna be... It's gonna be tricky handling something that powerful, but I bet you'll get used to it all the time once you're the master. So, let's go and see what this... What's in here. This is what we call treasure. It's a statue. Uh, one of the 13 zodiac treasures. It is... It is posed whimsically. <laughs> So let's get moving and let's actually look at the other places in which we can J bomb. And first of all, I need to fight. I'll see you after this. I'm not showing this again. Okay, that's done. <laughs> Took an explosion to the face from those flying fish. So let's head back up and. No, go away! There is an item later in the game which does allow them to basically stay away from you. But right now you just gotta put up with how entertaining it can be. So let's see what's in here. Boom! And we have an exorcism slip S. Basically exorcism slips just do small small, medium or large damage, uh just like the holy bones, uh to the basically cover you. This is a guardian statue, but I don't think anyone's been here in years. It's in pretty bad shape. I feel kinda of sorry. Why don't you leave it often? That's something we'll allude to later on. Because right now we can't access all of them. There is one more... Uh, what's it called? One more cherry bomb spot I want to check before we head to the next place. And we've passed it like three times already. Can you take a guess of where it is? So, right from back here... Here, let's see what's here. And I had to push it. Another treasure chest. Can I actually tackle this thing? Yes, I can. And we get a coral fragment. More treasure to be sold. Don't know why I thought it was something else. So, let's head down this way. And see what there is. So we've got some treasure which can be dug up here. Oh, oh, come on! And that is a stray bead. For a hundred of those things that scattered around the world, I don't know if I have mentioned it before. What the? Thank you. For a hundred of those things scattered around the world, more you get, more rewards you get. Essentially, at the end of the game. And it's daybreak. So, let's go and see what this is, essentially. Moonshine. People purify themselves before visiting the moon cave. Interesting to know. Who's in here? It is Mika. Oh dear me, dear me, this is awful. And basically, 
Further piece of moon shrine. Ah, the most lofty guest has wandered into our shrine. Your timing is insignificant. Insignificant. Immaculate? Yeah, I'm going to wear immaculate. Your time is immaculate, Wolf. I need to speak with you. To you. Our time need is like Harry. Harry Ma. No. Har Harami. That's it. It's Lake Harami, Nippon's largest lake. In the middle of it, there was an old shrine called the Moon Cave. But it completely disappeared, vanished into thin air. It enshrines the wicked demon that Nagi and Shibunui once defeated. It has Sukuyomi, the fable blade sword that kept the demon at bay. That demon, its name was... No, I'll be cursed if I say it. Anyway, the point is, what on earth has happened to the shrine? It's guarded day and night by the... Tile Master Walker. We occasionally ask to go to the back to the city. This happens. Oh dear. Interested. We might want to keep an eye on a person named Walker. Lately, there have been monsters ha haunting these parts as well. Those mischief making monsters are the worst. I expect it. I expect this is fair doing. Well, maybe not this time, but they s still need to be dealt with. Have I prepared a wanted list for them? So we basically get a list of monsters. The gods will have them, will have marked all those wanted lists. Wanted monsters were a sign, you know, as soon as you lay eyes on them. However, they're very cautious, they only come out at night. Will you go put this list somewhere obvious, Wolf? I'm sure some brave soul will step up to the challenge. So we've obtained the monster notebook, essentially. May the gods protect you always. Hey, this is a sweet job for us, Annie. Let's keep this list handy and take care of all those mischief making monsters of ourselves. I mean, we're gonna run into them whether we like it or not. So, you may as well collect the reward too. <laughs> anyway, it seems like they only come out at night. Let's give it a shot. So, yeah. Remember how it literally just broke day? Well, we went there so long it broke night. And here is a case of a wanton monster. What's with that monster? It's not exorcism how stuck in it. Exorcism hours are sacred relics for driving away evil. This means somebody really wants to get rid of this monster. Come on, Ami. Finish it off. Don't let it get away. I don't actually know if it can't run away. I I need to actually find my out. Power slash, power slash. Now this is gonna give me a beat. <laughs> Don't know why that came in my head. So yeah, just as a quick note, these are typically the little top of their, their normal counterparts. So with that, Easy with String Curve has been defeated, and I want that fan to close us away. So this is a case of wanted monsters. That was one of those monsters from the monster notebook. And we just happened to find it. Boy, you never know what you'll find next. You know that monster notebook you have? Well, you gotta have one of the monsters now you take care of it. So basically what you do is just bring up your brush and just Try and put a line through it, I don't think I even touched it at all. <laughs> That's one less monster. And this way, it won't be long before you cross them all out. Once you defeat all the wanted monsters, go and see the priest. Maybe he'll give you a reward. So, 
Now that we're doing that, I will cut to the location of each monster and basically show you the fight between them. And this does not involve it whatsoever, despite involving the correct beast. Oh yeah, just as a tip, if you do get the battle you don't want to, just break the wall at that area and you'll be able to break out. Not something I do a lot, but I'll do it typically if I don't want to be fighting. You only have so long wave nights, essentially. Okay, second one. It is booing. But when we knew the battle of the wireless is. I'm just making it clear, you don't have to attack the other ones, they're really just there to be a nuisance. Because once you take them on down, you take the rest of them down, essentially. So, man's the second one to down. Time to mark it off, and I'll see you guys at the next monster, essentially. I know you don't have. Okay, monster number three. It's only of a, sh of a short tempo. You don't. And that's another one down. I like the way the demon fang keeps moving despite everything happening literally stop. So, that's number three down. Short time for was it? Yeah, it was. And if you get it wrong, Isu just lectures you anyways. <laughs> so, two more than fine. I'll just see you then. Oh, treasure chest. So, if you didn't pick up Charles Trump, there's one there. Okay, number four, we have another. What? I'm gonna read you the inconsiderable or something like that. And terrible. Oh, no. And that's number four down. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
It's a tail. I'm pick up everything else. Blue the money for not even touch it. In fact, no, I didn't. Did touch one of them. So, that's out with the top one. And we only got one more to find. Uh, may as well do this while I'm here. See if it gives me anything interesting. Well, it gives me some things to feed, anyways. So, let's go to them and feed them. And they'll go back to sleep with team much immediately. And we can upgrade our health, so let's do that. And we have nine plays left. So, let's go find this final scroll. Is it? No. Down that way. I don't remember. Nope. I might know. I'm already trying this one. Why am I trying it again? Where is it? I ain't got a clue where it is. And we ain't gonna be finding that one for a little while, as it turns out. So. I guess we'll be gonna have a sort that out later. But, right now, let's go and have a look at... What's down here? It's mentioned that this was where the moon cave was. Let's look and see what's happening there. And yeah, that looks ominous, doesn't it? Huh? You pass under the sh shrine gate and follow the narrow path. So where the heck is the moon cave? Shouldn't it be right here? Hey, wait, what's up with a big old mountain there? Since when did that appear in the middle of a lake? In the middle of Lake Karami. They say the moon cave is where Nagi slayed the legendary beast. This huge mountain is way too big to be the moon cave, I remember. I mean, just look at it, it's massive! So, let's. Wander up and see what's going on with it. By the way, I like this music. Just listen to it. Ouch, what the heck? There's some kind of barrier here. Never seen one so powerful before. We we'd better be off and staying away from this thing. Yeah, I agree with you. So let's head back, why don't we? And I'll see you guys when we get to the final beast, if I can ever find it. Well, to put a long story short, uh, 
part of the recording failed, so I've had to reload the old save file where I've got, I think, all but one monster to get. Uh, so, where is it? Not the wanted list. It's like all but two monsters to get. So, one of them is here. No, it's not. This is the wrong one. Uh, quick tip, if you didn't want to get out of battle, just strike a wall at these little points. It's this one. They're too close to each other. So there's Akazu the Interloper, so that's our second beast we need to take care of. Stop using your guitar. No, I don't want to cover you in ink. Stop using your guitar to block my attacks. That is a great way to distract the enemy for a bit, I'll certainly say that much. Oh come on, I attacked it one too many times so I couldn't get the fang out off it. So there's number four now, so yeah, we called them the two three failed, so I'll just show you the locations once we're done with them. So that's another one down. Cross it off the thing, which that is not going through the name. But that still counts. So that's one, and the final one we need to defeat is here. So we get it all done in one night. So come on, start game with long introductions because beasts don't deserve that long of time. Isn't that maybe we do that? Well, we took one out, so we might be fine, I'll take that. Oh, come on, I missed the fang. It's behind me. Take the money, take the ink, get the bonus, and let's go and see the police. Now we've got them all done. Well, what do you know? You've taken care of all the names in the monster notebook. Won't the priest be happy to hear this? He might even give you a reward. <laughs> so yeah. So, go this area behind us. Let's clear that up. Some ores. Let's skip that so and get some praise for it. That's 74. And skip this. That's normal. And now we have enough for a new upgrade, mainly to our solar energy. Let's do that. I actually don't recall the one of them are was, but uh, the location of one of them was down this way on this beach next to Tana's house. And the other one I actually don't remember. <laughs> I'll put a screenshot of it. Hey, well you know, great timing, daybreak. So let's go down and see the priest. Run, run as fast as you can, there's a wolf coming to get you. Don't ask me why, I just do random stuff like that now and again. Don't we all? So, what's Miku to say? Ah, it's you, wolf. What are you doing back here? So, we show him the monster notebook? I don't believe it! Every single one of those wanted monsters names is crossed out! Come to think of it, I haven't sensed any of them recently. But who on earth could have managed this? It's absolutely wonderful! I want you to give this to whoever it was, Wolf. Understood? So for that, we get gold dust. Gold dust is an interesting item. It essentially allows you to power up any weapon you have. So for example, we can use it on our divine retribution here and it is now more powerful and actually does more damage to enemies. It also works better as a sub item but we will get onto that later when we actually get another weapon to show that off with. 
But for now, I think it's time we go and actually show what this thing's like. Because I realised there was a devil gate I missed over. Just here. So let's go and take care of it, since it's near the safe moment anyways. <laughs> oh, well, it's... But yeah, you can already see how much more damage we're doing with it. So many less hits we have to do. And all I did was cover you. Well, give me the fang. I never wonder what happened to that last two if you ran out of ink. That's what happens. You lose your powers essentially. Ah, we have a yellow imp. Oh, come on! That's the one thing I don't like about enemies with bows themselves in these rounds. Because there's a point where they, when they're digging, you can't actually hit them. I don't get it. The great thing is, you can actually just combo them. Because the interesting thing is, with a divine retribution, it takes 10 hits normally. Uh, without the gold dust, but it takes 8 when the gold dust is applied. So that we restore this area here. Get another 15 phrase. Feed these rabbits, and I think we're gonna call it better for today. So, in this episode, we saw what the cave was. We got the technique of Cherry Bomb. We took out monsters on the wanted list and we've explored half of Shinshu Field, or well, most of Shinshu Field. There's only really one more place we can explore, which is in the distance there. We'll go and have a look in the next episode. But if you're enjoying this series, like the video, subscribe to it, and. Uh. What's it called? And again, stay tuned for the next episode. If I start going slow, uh, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. Links in the description. Tell me how hurry up because I do forget these things. But remember, uh, I am a student at the moment. Uh, exams are coming up, so I might be a bit slow on that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Got a question if you'd hear me out, out in your defense, you never had a chance. And so tell me straight, I won't go. This is our time now, I'm sure. Make no mistake that we are.